Psychoanalysis, for me, is still relevant today, as it was a century ago, because in some ways that nothing has changed. Nothing has changed because human beings are still the same, and also science, if you look at it carefully, and not in a partisan way, has brought probably very little to the understanding of human emotions, feelings, behaviours. The importance of the unconscious is that it invites us to consider the strangeness within us, that we are affected by the people who cared for us, looked after us, handled us, talked to us when we were very young in ways we cannot know about that we are forever somehow foreign to ourselves. We're forever strange to ourselves. There's a part of us that we cannot know about. Uh, knowing about the unconscious is important at an individual level because uh, if you don't look after your unconscious, your unconscious will look after you. And that means, unfortunately, probably a lot of uh, problems. Probably in the majority of our lives are led unconsciously. Of course, consciousness, I'm not underestimating the importance of consciousness. On the contrary, the whole point of psychoanalysis is to say that we can place unconsciousness into consciousness. We can become conscious of the unconscious. But if we're trying to make unconscious conscious, we need to know about the unconscious and how to make it conscious. And psychoanalysis, I would say, is the only discipline, for want of a better word, that systematically has the material for looking at the unconscious. And also at a social level, I think that applied psychoanalysis is extremely important to understand crucial social things, including, for example, extreme violence, terrorism, financial crisis, are not fully understood today unless you use the psychoanalytic tool. If we look around us, we're surrounded by terrorism, racism, violence, aggression, hostility, all sorts of terrible things that are going on in the world. And I think what psychoanalysis has to offer is a very deep way of thinking about how we relate to other people and the way in which we think about other people and feel about other people and the consequences that can have for relationships in the world, not just with our family members and our friends our colleagues, but as social groups, as countries, as nations, as culture. There's no science that has studied human interactions that closely as psychoanalysis. So it has a vast amount of knowledge about human interactions, about psychological processes that no science currently has.